And in this video, we want to go ahead and get set up by using the marketplace assets such as the firearm, as well as setting up the, uh, well, tweaking the idle mesh or the idle animation that we're using for our mannequin. So we want it to just overall look a little bit better because when we hit play, I mean, this is fine for third person view, but I mean, you can't even see the muzzle. And on top of that, we're going to have to adjust basic things like left hand IK and all that, but we'll get that set up in not too long. So first things first, let's tweak the idle animation. So in order to do that, let's head over to our anim starter pack. And here we're going to find our hip. Fire, right, here's fire rifle hip, idle rifle hip. So we're going to strip this animation out to where it is only a single frame. So to do that, we can right click up here and we are going to remove from frames 44 to frame 190. And we're just going to kind of repeat the process, frame 10 to 44, and then we can do frame 3 to 10, then frame 1 to 3. Now we have a single frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab and basically kind of start tweaking our bones. So for example, I can rotate our hand around and all that kind of stuff, and we're going to work our way up. So I have not set up control rig or anything like that. I guess I really needed to use it because that would be ideal for this, but we're going to manually kind of tweak it and see what all works. So we're gonna just start kind of rotating our bones up and over. Here we can actually rotate our arm out and then get our hand compens to compensate for the new angle. So we're gonna get it kind of up in line to where it's raised. So that's not horrible. We can go ahead and rotate the lower arm a little bit farther. And then we probably want to roll it out a little bit and then finish up our compensation for the changes with our hand. Okay, so that might be okay. This is going to probably be a little bit on the high side, but either way, for the time being, that's all right. So we're just going to give it a quick test. We're going to go ahead and do create asset, create animation from the current, or sorry, from the current pose. So we're just going to grab... And I'll just actually throw it in the content and I'll just call it anim test. And that'll be its temporary name. So now let's head over to our animation blueprint. So we go to our retarget animations and we're going to have to clean up our project here and before too long, but we're going to go to our anim graph, the M4, go to our idle state, and we're going to grab the test animation and compile. So from here, let's see what it looks like. So that's not horrible. That's definitely too high, but we need to rotate it to where it's straight out in front. So let's just kind of keep on tweaking. So as you can see, we also want to uh, really kind of focus on getting it straight because it's having a hard time seeing where the actual like world, I don't know how to display the world grid lines. But anyways, uh, another thing we can do is trying to straighten our head a little bit and that'll help with our actual head positioning. So if I go into the front perspective, I guess in that case it's the side. So we go to the front, or the right in this case, we can kind of start rotating our head a little bit. And so I'll leave it there and then go to our top. And that looks fairly straight. Kind of like so. The only thing we can do now would probably be to Make it lift a little straighter so that way the head's up a little higher. So let's rotate the head back. Yeah, leave it right there. All right, so that straightened out the head. That should give us a little more space from the firearm. Now let's adjust the firearm. So let's go to our top down. Get it pointing somewhat straight. So we can have it at a little bit of an angle, not too fond of that. So that should be ever so slightly going to the left to go a tiny bit more. Let's do the front, or I guess the right in this case, go to the front. We're going to remove some of the cant. And then we're going to go ahead and save and create the asset from the current pose again. And just name it test anim or I guess it was named anim test. Oh, well, now we have test anim. 
So I'm going to delete anim test. And let's actually browse to it, just so I can delete it. Yeah, that should be the old one. Okay, and let's see where we're at. So that is a good bit better. So the only thing we can really do would be to bring it to the left and drop it down. But we're getting pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip until I've had this set up. And I'll see you in here in a second. Alrighty, so I mostly have mine in a position where I want it. So when I hit play, it's out of the way a little bit. And everything just looks somewhat decent. Same thing, all the poses are now functional because positioning is correct. So we have mall, shoulder switching, uh, the blind fire, all that, we're pretty much good to go. Obviously there's things that can be tweaked and you can adjust them however you see fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the old animation. And here's gonna be our new idle. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna rename that so we no longer have test anim. Wait, yeah, we no longer have test anim. So I'm gonna fix up the redirectors, save. And then we're going to drag this animation into tutorial. So let's name this one rifle or a underscore character rifle idle. That's going to be kind of like our base moving forwards. So we are pretty much good to go on that aspect. Now let's go ahead and start modifying one of the marketplace firearms to just something that to where it resembles and works correctly. So we're going to go ahead and actually go to our tutorial, no, our ultimate FPS framework. Let's grab our firearm. We're going to copy our, beef, our, our uh, firearm blueprint here. And I'm going to paste it in here and give it a name of tutorial M4. Go ahead and open that on up. Go to our viewport and see how it always goes to four. We can go ahead and strip out basically everything we don't need. So I'm going to swap out, well, remove all the attachments except for sight. We're going to change out our skeletal mesh for the AR, what was it, the AR4, I think it was called. So we're going to grab the SK underscore AR4. And from here, we want to reposition our attachment sight. So there's no B underscore grip. Let me actually see how this firearm is rigged up really quick. Okay, so there's just the root. There's nothing additional for a fake root. So in that case, we really don't need to add a parent socket, but we can go ahead and just zero it out. Add the trans, well, position it to where it lines up properly with the rail. I'm going to just get it out of the way of the front sight. Just didn't mean to move it that way. Drop down just a tad. And we're basically good to go. So now we can compile. And I want to go ahead and go to customization. Go to the default attachment and clear that out because I do not want this to spawn. So now that we have our M4, we have to continue with the remainder of the setup. So let's go ahead and get it to where it spawns in our hands first. So to do that, we can just go to our character. And in begin play, we have where we spawn the actual firearm. So we're going to search for a tutorial. And here we have our tutorial M4. So we're going to go ahead and compile that and hit play. So if I eject, here you can see, let's actually search for the M4. There. Wait, yeah, tutorial M4. Right, let me double check, it might have spawned out of bounds. Alrighty, finally got it figured out. So I tested the majority of the other firearms that came in the pack and they basically none of them had that problem and there's no physics enabled on any of the mesh components until I looked in the physics asset and physics type is for some reason set to simulated. So we want to change that back to default by default and there we go. So now, basically I was testing with that before because it kept falling, but we now have it set up to where we are holding the M4. So now we can set up everything else. So we're going to set it up by default for aiming, we're going to give it a muzzle socket, and handle the left hand IK. So that'll prevent, so one, aiming. We're not looking to the root because that's what it tracks to, which I guess I could eventually add some debug logs there. We don't have a muzzle. So I guess I shot myself, but 
that's just kind of the how we're going to go through this. So let's head over to our skeleton here. Let's go to the actual skeleton, not just the mesh. And if we look under, we got to click on our root or our class defaults, scroll down to the, I don't know why in the world it's so far, SKG FPS template or SKG FPS framework, and we'll see the sockets. So this we can ignore. We don't need to worry about the grip offset because we're doing that manually. And here we have two sockets. So we have the muzzle socket, S underscore muzzle, and S underscore aim. So those are the two we want to focus on first. And then once we get that properly set up, we will set up the left hand IK. So let's start with the, we'll do the aim. So S underscore aim. So on the root of the firearm, we're going to go ahead and add a socket. S underscore aim. And we want to position that somewhere kind of like so. So just to get it like right in line, I'm going to go to the front site and set it right on the actual peak. Kind of hard to see because the guard's in the way. Because I want this to be basically dead center. So we have that. Then we can just move it back ever so slightly so we know. So forward and back doesn't really matter too much. But we now have that set up. So let's go ahead and rotate it. So we want it to be pointing, let me actually set up snapping. We want it to be pointing forwards. So make sure, dang nabbit. Make sure it's rotated up on the X and rotated forward, or sorry, pointing Z up and X forward, my bad. So now when we aim, we are pretty much good to go. We do have a little bit of extra sway in there. And with the way that the sway is set up, we could probably actually drop it down a little bit. But either or, for the time being, that will work. And we'll just reduce the sway at a uh, later point. So I guess we could... Yeah, let's just go ahead and change the defaults. We'll set the weight for the stats to be something a little lower. So this is in kilos. So let's just do one pound. That should reduce the sway. Eh, not quite as much as I was thinking. Well, that did everything else. Oh, wait, that's right, movement sway. I was thinking of, uh, for some reason, uh, rotation lag. So we'll put that back at three. And we'll just deal with that here later. So let's go ahead and drop it down just a tad, just to get a little bit better visual. All right, we're going to go down farther. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. I'm going to go above, so closer to the top of the guards. And now we're a little too high, so we're just going to meet somewhere in the middle of about there. Alright, so that'll take care of that. Now we want another socket. This one's going to be S underscore muzzle. So there might actually be a... Yeah, there's a bone there for a muzzle flash. So I'm going to just copy its transforms. And paste my muzzle socket there. I'm gonna stick it out, uh, just decent bit out in front for the time being. And same thing, we want. Yeah, so that should be forwards. Okay, so now we just need to rotate. So up, so Z up, X forward. So now it's kind of hard to see, but. I'm able to shoot. And obviously recoil needs tweaked for the, uh, what do you call it, the aiming. But anyways, we have our muzzle socket. So now let's go ahead and we will set up the left hand IK. So we can add another socket, S underscore left hand IK. And for the time being, let's just move it forward. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. This isn't really needed in this case because it's just positioning. But I like keeping things consistent. So we're going to leave that up, hit play, and we're going to drag this out in a separate window. So here we can kind of start moving the hand around, as you can see at the bottom. But it might be easier to eject. Yeah, that's why I wanted to eject. <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere kind of in this 
area here. We'll go a little farther forward towards the gas block. And I'd say, are we clipping? Yes. Get down a little. And I guess we could go a little bit out. That should be good. So we're going to go ahead and save. And there we go. So we now have the left hand IK set up. Alrighty. Now I don't. Oh, yeah. Now we can go ahead and test out to make sure the attachment works. So here we have our attachment site. Let's go ahead and give it the default attachment of the hollow site again. So we're going to compile. And now we have the hollow site. So we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I don't know if we can co witness with this. Yeah, no, the site sits a little too high. But we have the key sockets at least nice and set up. Now, the very last socket that we may want to tinker with would be the point aim sockets. So here you can rename them to kind of whatever, but in this case, we're just going to do s underscore point aim. I'm going to remove the second one. We're just going to do one. So let's go again back to the skeleton. Scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, so I guess they gave us two skeletons for that. Yep. So we have the skeleton back open. And let's go ahead and add another socket. S underscore point aim. And same thing. We rotate it so it's X forward and Z up. Right. Then we're going to position it about where I had the front sight. So I'm just going to grab the Z height. Keep that the same. Okay, I guess because that's relative location, that's where it's going to complain. Oh, well. Drop it a little bit. We're going to rotate it by 45. And push ourselves off to the side. Now we should be using the side of the firearm to aim with. So I can aim, and I can press Control t And now I am point aiming. So that is a little bit low. We're going to go ahead and bump that up some. And there we go. So now if we wanted to, we have point aiming. So we can switch between our sights like so and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the default attachment. That'll come later. But yeah, we're off to a uh, pretty decent start. Still have everything, still have our shoulder swapping and all that. Could definitely use a curve adjustment. Got our blind fire. And same thing. Recoil and all that's still good to go. And we're going to want to tweak the recoil as we go farther into the series. So I know this was a little bit of a long one, but I really kind of wanted to just show setting up really everything, not really do a bunch of cuts. But it's really straightforward. So especially if you're kind of building off the example content, it's very easy. But like I said, later on, we're going to go through and we're going to construct a firearm pretty much from complete scratch. The only thing we're going to be using would be probably some of this example logic here, which is just for the sake of shooting and nothing more. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video that covers the basics of firearm setup. I guess what we can do now is we can use one of the attachments. Let's see, what do they have? Accessories. All right, so they provide two optics. So we can set those up. We can set up the suppressor. And uh, yeah, we can set up their vertical grip as well. So that's going to wrap up this video. And I'll see you in the next one where we set up the accessories.